Hey, so in this video I'm talking about blue lotus or blue lotus flower. There's two different types, but this is basically a lucid dreaming herb or supplement that can help you become lucid. It's an ancient Egyptian, I guess, party herb or sort of like a party drug actually. They used to use this thing in parties and I don't know what they got up to, but one thing we do know is that it produces a pretty euphoric state in you when you take blue lotus. But specifically for lucid dreaming, blue lotus can actually help you have more vivid dreams and they're more likely to become lucid. So in this video, I wanna share more tips about about how you can use it, where you can get Blue Lotus, some warnings as well, as well as some background about how it works. And at the end, I'm gonna explain whether you should use Blue Lotus because there's actually something I would suggest that's a lot more effective. So let's get into it. So the actual effects of Blue Lotus can range from anything from euphoria to just a mild state of well-being. So it's kind of like a relaxant. I guess you could say it's a bit like cannabis and things like that. But this specifically has really interesting effects on your dreams. And like I've said, on your lucid dreams as well. Now, if you've been looking at other lucid dreaming herbs and supplements, you have some idea about the effects and sort of what you can expect from them. Now, specifically with Blue Lotus, if you've tried things like Cladine Capensis, like Kalia Zekatitici, I think I'm pronouncing that right, then this is not as profound as that. This is not as vivid and uh, strong acting. It's not going to have as much of an effect on you. However, the Blue Lotus has a place in a Lucid Dreamer's toolkit. Uh, and there are times, and here's my opinion on this, right? You're trying, if you're trying all of these different Lucid Dreaming herbs and supplements, and you, maybe you get some results with, let's say, Kalia Z, you get some results with Celine Capensis, with Galantamine, Hupazina, whatever you're trying, okay? It makes sense at some point to try a little bit of everything. And what I mean by that is if you've tried just one or two lucid dreaming supplements or teas or herbs, and I'm gonna sort of bunch these all together in here in this video, then you might have had some results, but you might find that even though it's not as common for other people, for you specifically, you might find that you get really good results with Blue Lotus, for example. And you won't know until you try. And that's why I always suggest to people to just keep trying new things out, keep trying out ideas, trying different supplements, trying different herbs, and seeing what works for you. Because you might find that you had no results with Kalia Z, which is one of the mo more common lucid dreaming teas, and certainly one of the more, uh, at least one of the more commonly thought to be effective lucid dreaming teas, you might have much better results with Blue Lotus. So it really depends on you and like you, how your body and mind react to certain supplements or things. Now that being said, there are some side effects to lucid dreaming teas, lucid dreaming herbs and supplements and all of this stuff. So you do need to do your own research as well. It's not like, you know, a, the wild west where you can just pick anything and it's gonna give you crazy dreams. You need to be aware of certain things and how they're going to react with, you know, what you're maybe already taking. Let's say if you're already on medication or already taking supplements, then, well, you kind of need to be aware of that just so that you're not going to harm yourself or that just so that there's no dangerous interactions going to happen. Now, Blue Lotus can also be called Blue Water Lily. Uh, there's a bunch of different names for it as well. However, it's pretty hard to get hold of online. There are some websites, and if I can find any that are gonna give you a good deal on this, I will try and link to them in the description below. So if you do wanna get hold of Blue Lotus for lucid dreaming, then click in the link in the description. Now in terms of side effects and how this is going to feel, what normally happens is like this. You either have a tincture or a tea, a Blue Lotus tincture or a tea, and you can get these from different places. I'll try and link to them in the description. However, what will happen is the effects should start anywhere between half an hour to an hour after you actually take it and this can be you know this might vary depending on how much food you have in your system how you know quickly you absorb things normally how quickly things normally cross into uh, the blood-brain barrier in you it's different for every person okay and it depends on age weight size gender all of this stuff but roughly between 30 and 60 minutes you will feel the effect of blue lotus at this point you might want to start writing things down and just sort of journaling how you're feeling and, and what effect it's having on you in terms of side effects this, compared to other things, compared to other lucid dreaming supplements and herbs, Blue Lotus is incredibly mild. So the side effects you will feel, I mean, to be honest, it's probably gonna be none. For, for the huge majority of people watching this who go and try Blue Lotus, the side effects will be next to nothing for most of you. The only side effect of Blue Lotus is that if you take a huge amount of this, like I know I'm talking about an enormous dose, like you'd have to really go out of your way to take this much, you would feel like, kind of faint, maybe even nauseous, and you might feel like hot flushes coming up and down you. But to be honest, that's normal. I mean, if you take a huge dose of anything, you're not gonna feel great. 
So I wouldn't worry too much about the side effect of Blue Lotus. What I would suggest to do is if you are interested in it, just try it out. I mean, it might work really well for you. Uh, you might find that this really does improve your dream life and increases your vividness and all of this, these benefits, uh, but you won't know unless you try it. Okay, so go ahead, do your own research, uh, click in the link in the description if you want to check out the best place to get Blue Lotus, and leave a comment letting me know what you would do in a lucid dream if you knew that the lucid dream was going to last for an hour. So if you Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.